guys, welcome to my video. This is a video that I'm doing all on my own without my kids. Uh, you're probably thinking like, what the heck? Where are the kids? But basically, uh, some people have been asking us to do a grooming video and we thought about how we would do it and I thought, you know, grooming is like the one thing that is helping me maintain my relationship with my mare right now because I don't have a lot of confidence and with my riding, so I only ride when my trainer is here. So um, I decided that I think I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I groom my mare. my entire knowledge of grooming horses was based on my kids uh, career of riding horses and basically we would get to the barn and grooming was what they had to do before they could ride so it involved a lot of going quick getting things done as fast as possible and for me grooming has not been that way for me uh, grooming has been a way to bond and grow used to one another for me to get familiar because my knowledge is not very vast and um, it's been a way hopefully for Stella to become used to me being around her and handling her and hopefully it's creating a bond. So after I catch Stella, my thing I like to do um, most is to shed her and I use these grooming gloves which um, actually belong to Gabby but I love them. They're so good and they take all the hair off. I just can't change my emotions. I did not learn from my children but um, that I've settled into on my own is that I like to take my time with this go gentle cover every single part of her body and really do a good job and kind of like give her a massage and make her feel good give her get all her itchies out Everything I say is true. The girls much prefer a shedding blade like this and it does work really well but I really enjoy getting my hands on her and touching her. I find it helps the most with the bonding process and I don't know, I, I just really like the gloves better and they're easier. If I can, I like to go around here. I actually really like to touch every single part of her body. I feel like that helps me with the bonding process and I hope it does for her too. Baby, I know this might sound insane.
gloves seem a little bit hard. I actually do like to use them on her face as well. I'm able to control uh, how hard I push and how um, fast I move to make them a little bit more gentle. But they really help get all the extra hair off. of a curry comb. I do take a dandy brush and go over her with that. What I like to do with this is get out, off all the stuff that I brought up with the gloves. Technically I just flick it all off. Can you see how much of it? She's so full of dirt and now this just takes it all off. I mean you guys all know because you guys are experienced at this. <laughs> I'm just showing you how I do it. take a longer amount of time doing it than this video shows it's just that I'm condensing it for this video I am taking my time and doing it the way that I would I'm just only cutting out some of it so that you guys aren't watching for 10 minutes while I do the same thing over and over use that I really like is this one it's like um I don't even know what it's called the oh, right there. it's not like a brick yeah it's thing. a brick but I like it because if I use it gently it also uh, sheds I like this as almost as much as I like the gloves um, another thing that I do is I put my hands over top of her eyeballs and I rub because sometimes they get itchy Usually I already did this, but you, uh, I didn't show it on camera. And what happens is that all this hair comes down and I'm able to get a lot of that stuff off of her. Just gently rubbing. Usually she's better for it. I don't know why. I already did it. It's because she can hear the girls playing with uh, Willow in the arena. She's alert. She's like, what are they doing with my baby? Okay, so if any of you guys know me at all you know that hoof picking was something that i was really afraid of for a really long time it is a hard thing for me uh now because stella is so good and so patient and so kind i actually really enjoy doing it it's something that i crave to do now and uh we've been doing it at night in our stalls when we put our horses to bed all of us will hoof pick our own horses um so i'm going to do that now I like to use a hoof pick that actually has a brush on it because I like to clean all the mud off her hooves. I actually like to do this because I want to get all the mud off. I don't like her to uh, be walking around with mud on her all the time. Girl, I also like to take my brush and brush all the way around on the outside just to make sure that there's no dry stuff. I like to feel every part of her as well so that if something changes I know what has changed if that makes sense. Her back feet are definitely harder. She doesn't like it as much. But I do like to be able to get all the stuff off of her. The little rocks that I find. So uh, I don't know if you can see that, but my kids do tell me that I suck at hoof picking because I'm not as fast as them or as good as them at doing it, but um, I do take my time at it and I really enjoy it and I like to uh, do a really thorough job and uh, definitely different strokes for different folks. Good girl. As you can see, there is a lot of crap in this hoof. Um, I don't know how much 
of that you guys got to see it's really hard to video and do it I tried to hold her hoof in the opposite arm so that I could really get a good video but uh, trust me when I say I did a really good job getting all the junk out um, so normally I would be done except if I were gonna ride her right now but I like to do a couple other things I like to brush her hair even though I know you're not supposed to do it all the time and I also like to uh, put stuff on her like um, stuff in her tail to look at how cute it's just so cute you're so cute just to keep her in good condition oh I do have a little soft brush that I like to use on her face you guys can't see because she's got her face really high but I like to do that um, I have my mane and tail brush I don't know I have two of these I do not know which one's which but I also have this cowboy magic that the girls are really into and I'm gonna put it it's a detangler I'm gonna put it in her hair um, typically my kids only use this for their for their uh, tail but I'm gonna put it in her mane actually my kids often will put it on her brush on the brush and do it that way but um, she's been rolling a lot since it's muddy sorry Stella and um, I like to get all the mud out all the knots out makes her smell beautiful I don't know if I'm doing this right sometimes but this video is getting kind of long and the girls want the camera so um, that is it that is it for my grooming video I hope it made sense to you guys uh, grooming for us is about bonding and me doing something nice for her at least I hope she thinks it's something nice I like to see her clean and pretty and without mud on her and I hope that she likes it I know she's just gonna go roll but for the five minutes that we're here together she's clean thanks for watching See you guys later. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.